This is the Aedes aegypti mosquito, an invasive species that's made Florida home. Only the females bite and spread disease, and in 2009 were responsible for an outbreak of dengue fever that ripped through the Florida Keys. Officials say traditional control methods are less effective as the insects build resistance. So authorities turn to British biotech firm Oxitec. They develop males with a gene that kills female mosquitoes before they reach maturity. The males then continue to breed, passing the altered gene on to more females. It's a program the company says has been successful in Brazil, Panama and Malaysia. In a November 2016 referendum, 31 out of 33 Monroe County precincts voted in support of our project, some overwhelmingly so. We like to say, because it's true, that our mosquitoes received more support in that election than any human candidate. While the majority of Keys residents back the project, some have concerns about the long-term effects of a new technology. You're going to risk our community. You're going to ask the people in our community to be sacrificial lambs, really. Because how else are you going to produce your mosquitoes if it weren't for the people in the Keys donating their blood? Despite some local resistance, the pilot project received approval from the Environmental Protection Agency, the culmination of a decade-long effort by mosquito control authorities in tackling potentially deadly diseases. Nothing out there is a silver bullet. Um, we're looking to integrate whatever we can into our current control methods just to make sure that we can suppress that population below disease transmission thresholds. Mosquito-borne diseases like malaria, yellow fever and Zika kill over a million people a year according to the World Health Organization. While this kind of technology is controversial to some, it's also being watched closely. During the initial stages of this pilot program here in Florida, around 150,000 genetically modified male mosquitoes will be released. If that proves successful in reducing the female Aedes aegypti population, millions more could be introduced. Andy Gallagher, Al Jazeera, Miami, Florida.